welcome to the Deer Valley vlog. I have arrived in Park City. It is so early, but I know how Utahns are with their powder days. I'm really excited for the fresh snow and to check out a skiers only resort. We are here at Hyatt Place Park City and it is my first time at Deer Valley. So this vlog is going to be all about solo skier, first time exploring a new mountain. Also, Knox isn't on this trip because he has a torn rotator cuff and so it's just me. I've gotten the skiing bug, you guys. I'm like obsessed now. Some of my goals is, on this trip is to learn how to carve better and also um, keep tackling steeps and maybe some moguls. So, Deer Valley is actually where they do Olympic skiing for moguls, um, so pretty crazy. Very first lift at Deer Valley! This place, first impressions, so nice. There's like boot dryers, glove dryers, there's a basket check to put your stuff, there's lockers. There is also a mountain tour that I'm gonna do uh, just to get a lay of the land, but so far so good. There's some steeps here. Look at that. This one too. So my goal for this trip is finding the fall line, continuing to ski parallel, challenging myself on steeps, um, I really want to get better at linking my turns and carving and something that I've learned is it's really fun to ski solo actually. I love riding with friends too, it's so fun like following each other and exploring new places but I'm just like, I don't know, I do love skiing alone. Look at all that fresh corduroy, untracked. Oh my gosh, so excited, can't wait to dig in. Is that someone's house? Oh my god. That, or maybe not. No, oh, these are these are lodges. I was like, damn, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wow. What a village. How cute. This reminds, this little village reminds you of Snowmass. God, I'm so excited. Here we are, trying to decide what my first run will be. Snow's so nice. Oh my god, it's amazing. Deer Valley day. Oh my god, it's so nice. The snow is soft. So many groomers. The weather feels good. Gonna head up the Sultan lift and then going to do signs for my first run. On the Sultan chair, heading up to Stein's run. I already love Deer Valley. It's so, so nice. It's so cruisery. And this, that's not a word, cruisery is not a word, but because it's only skiers, the tracks are like very consistent. These views are amazing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> These runs so far. I'm on the mountain tour to get to know this place. We're heading to Empire Chair. That is the kind of the base of our furthest east peak right now called Little Baldy. It's snowing! So I've been hanging with the tour group uh, for a lot of the morning. So I did a couple uh, laps of steins off the Sultan chair and then now yeah so I did the tour with the the crew and then uh it was it was just a little bit like like too easy for me I guess which is good because that means I'm progressing um I did the intermediate tour so that's probably why um so I'm like kind of in between intermediate and advanced but um yeah so now I am gonna take a little break but I just, it's snowing. I love Deer Valley so much. The runs are incredible. Like this resort is um, designed very well. Uh, it's very spacious. You can find all different like P 
peaks to, to go on, but solo ski trip going well so far. Um, I must admit, I probably won't do the mountain tour again um, going forward. I'm probably just gonna explore on my own, but it was good to like get a lay of the lifts and how to do it. Or if I can um, find out, then I can maybe sign up for the expert one, but we'll see. I don't do a lot of tree skiing just yet. So um, I'm not really sure how advanced that one is, but maybe I'll find out. back and I am so tired oh my gosh I skied myself to the to the bone I skied like 19 miles I woke up at 4 30 a.m didn't go to bed till 12 30 so severely underslept but oh my god I love the runs here at Deer Valley it's so my style of skiing and I'm excited because there's more to come good night good morning Park City Oh my gosh, I couldn't sleep that well last night. I don't know why. I think I miss my pillows, I miss Lennox. First lift up. Give me a sunny day. This is so gorgeous. Here on the Stein side again. I'm gonna try to lap this area before it gets too crowded and tracked out. Holy moly, this view is so good. All right, the verdict for solo skiing is it's the best thing ever. You could leave whenever you want to, you could take a break, you can, you basically call all the shots, which is nice. You don't have to wait for people. You can see, I can't stop smiling. The only downside is when you're eating, you have to eat by yourself, which you got, kind of get used to it. This is goals right here, check this out. Wow, this is insane carving. Just been spending the day lapping and it's such a beautiful clear day here at Deer Valley. I signed up for a um, carving like one hour private lesson just so I can get a little bit better so I'm excited about that. Lunch time for far. And can I get extra uh, mushrooms please? Oh my god this looks so good. I'm here at the meetup and I'm about to take a private lesson for an hour just to get some critique on my skiing. I just finished my little tune-up one hour private lesson and it was incredible. Like I've always done lessons like ever since my very first one. So my first one was an all day private. It was pretty um, pricey but it was a good investment. And then after every year I've done one group lesson. This year I haven't done any group lessons but I just did it was really helpful. One of my takeaways was learning how to transfer weight from ski to ski a little bit sooner and more gradual. We also worked on shoulder placement and torso uh, isolation from the legs. And so honestly, that was like a game changer for um, how I ski. It's always good to have someone like do a quick like check to see how you're doing so that you don't pick up bad habits. Um, I think that was kind of the perfect timing in my like ski career if you if you'd call it all right i am downloading on the silver lake chair meaning i'm gonna ride the lift down because i have my bag didn't want to ski with it i'm calling it and i can't wait to put in practice what i learned on my lesson gosh i love deer valley here for a little rope drop moment it's a beautiful morning here at deer valley 
my goal today is to implement what I learned yesterday. Yes, yeah, so I was watching the footage from the GoPro yesterday and I noticed that I turned my torso like a lot and my shoulders. So I'm gonna try my best to like keep it straight. They didn't open Stein's run this morning, so I am traversing across the mountain to get to the Empire chairlift. It's always like around this time of the trip where I get tired and I'm slower in the mornings. I don't know if you feel the same way when you're like on a ski trip, like where you're just like sleeping in a little or staying in bed longer, but I'm just so happy I tried out this trip by myself. So I made it to the Empire chair and you have to take like some cat tracks like greens to get here. i um, excited to check out Orion and see. So here they have double blues, which I've never seen at other resorts, but this view is such a clear day. I've been to all the lodges, Snow Park Lodge, Bait at the very bottom, Silver Lake at the middle, now my Empire off to the very right, and I'm gonna check out the Range Rover little pop-up they got um, here at Empire. That was so cool. So I had like a mocktail, little appetizers, and an oxygen bar, and meditation, and breath work. So fun. I can't wait to get back out there now, but I'm glad I checked this out. Another day, another fa. I'm kind of a creature of habit, so same lunch as yesterday. All right, so I got two and a half hours of skiing left on this trip, and I'm gonna send it. Um, I've been skiing Empire side today, and then I went over to um, the middle section, and then now I'm back at the Steins, like Sultan Chair area, and I just can't wait to check out this side really explored pretty much the entire deer valley so fun solo ski trip was a success i've gotten really good on this trip which is awesome pro tip if you're looking for no line on a busy day here at deer valley head to the sultan chair i just walked right on there's no line at all whereas mid mountain and all the other lifts are so busy now I'm on this run called Wizard, which is a double blue. And I am trying to head over to the Jordanelle, like the Mountaineer lift, because that's the only part of the mountain I haven't done yet. All right, I made it to the Jordanelle side, and this is the beautiful view that you've been seeing from this vlog from up top. We are on the side. So many mountains. So that's where I'm headed now. It's that big building right here on, right in front of me. So that's where I'm headed. To the St. Regis. Finished at the St. Regis. The line is insane. I didn't even, at least I got fries and a mocktail, so that's good. But the line to this vintage room is crazy. So I showered and I ordered an acai bowl because I'm really hungry and I got it delivered <sighs> Ta -da! to get back the calories that I expended skiing another 19 miles. So I did 19, 17, and 19, which is so fun. Um, I think I'm like socially wiped as well. Just like conversations on the list because I was like single rider the whole time and like having a million conversations. My dinner. I always start eating before I film, but this is a uh, spaghetti squash vegan gluten-free. It's pretty good so far.